here on the side of Kahuna Cabin, we have two large mango trees, as you can see here. Mango trees have distinct leaves, like so. And most of our fruit trees, including this one, they're marked with a fluorescent tape. But both of these guys here are some mango trees. Here we are in the compost zone. You can see the chicken coop. And here is our one of our star fruit trees. This is a nice big tree, produces lots of fruit located right here in the composting area right across from bamboo bungalow this is the star fruit tree up in the up at the top as well you can see there's some lilikoi vines growing you can see that guy right there it's one of the lilikois that climb up another tree here on the side of kahuna cabin along the path up to ocean view is the mountain apple. This tree right here is our mountain apple tree, one of them, and it has gorgeous spectacular flowers before it starts fruiting. Great tree. Up the slope here, headed up to Ocean View, another one of our fruit trees right here. This is an egg fruit tree. And as you can see, here are some fruits on it right now. Obviously, these are still not quite ripe yet. They will turn yellow when they are ripe and ready for picking. Very unique fruit. Most of our guests are, are new to. has a unique, interesting texture to it. This is our egg fruit tree. Here at Hedonesia we have many coconut trees. As you can see, this one here right by our recycling center next to the smoking temple is a nice big one. You can see some of the fruit on the tree here. These are our coconut trees. This is a fairly mature one. And right next to it here, we see another coconut tree. This is a very young coconut tree. Uh, this actually is the Samoan dwarf variety. Um, they're going to get, they're going to be fruiting much, much lower to the ground than uh, than this variety here. But we have many of these around the property. Here's one, right next to the recycling zone. Another coconut that you can see right behind the smoking temple here. These are coconut palms. Beautiful, beautiful trees. This is the ice cream bean tree. These have very unique fruit that are elongated. Um, this, is a, this is another one of the specialty fruits that most people coming to visit are new to. And uh, it's a fun, tasty fruit. Ice cream bean. Here on the side of the hangout zone, next to the parking area, we have a lot of edible plants. So right here, we have another amazing fruit tree. It's called the Suriname cherry. This is a delicious little fruit. Uh, you can see it, it's right here in between the aloe and the edible hibiscus. It's not fruiting at the moment, but this is our Suriname cherry tree. Along the path down the hill from the common area, Walking down the hill, we see one of our many, many different avocado trees. So here is an avocado tree. This is a real big one. There's still some fruits on the tree at the moment, but we're just getting out of the season. Um, this is one of our avocado varieties. Right here down the hill on the other side of Bamboo Bungalow. See another one farther down the hill, right here. Jabodi Kaba tree. 
This tree it takes many, many years to fruit, but when it does, it produces a spectacular fruit that literally actually comes straight off the trunk of the tree. Very amazing, delicious, exotic fruit. Jabodi Kaba. Next to Rainforest Tent, we see a lot of avocado trees. Both of these giant guys, these are both two more avocado trees that we have here on the property as well as on the other side next to it, all these avocado trees. You can see one of these limbs had fallen over close to uh, the Ohia camper. And you can see, still got some fruit on the, on the tree here. These are prolific producers of avocados and when we're in full season, we have an abundance, an absolute abundance of delicious, amazing avocados. Next to it, on the, to the left, we see one of our many banana trees. This one is not putting out a rack at the moment, but that is one of our banana trees there, along with yet another avocado tree behind it there. Here on the back side of Guava Hale, we've got more fruit trees. This one here is another one of our mango trees. Great little mango tree just recently started producing. That's one of our mangoes. And next to it is another fruit that most people don't take as a fruit. This is uh, Monstera deliciosa. It's a pretty quintessential jungle leaf plant. Um, as you can see here, they've got amazingly beautiful Swiss cheese type leaves here. Um, really big, huge, you can see, really big leaves. What a lot of people don't know is they actually produce an edible fruit. So down here, you see these pods. When these get mature, each one of these little scales on the fruit itself will peel away. And below that, those scales is a very delicious sweet fruit. Monstera Deliciosa. Here on the side of Rolinia House, we see one of our many papaya trees. Here's a fairly young papaya tree. Hasn't started fruiting yet, but if we look to the side here, on the side of avocado camping, next to the moringa tree, we see a more mature and fruiting papaya tree right here, which is part of one of our many pea gardens. You can see the fruit up top of this papaya. We have many more fruit trees here. Here's some more avocado trees, as well as bananas, and as the Halle gets its name, a Rolinia tree. Rolinia is another amazing tropical fruit tree that most people coming from the mainland do not have the luxury of being able to sample. This is a very cool, unique fruit. Uh, you can see we have some juvenile ones down here. This is a very small, this is going to need to grow quite a lot bigger before it's ready. Uh, it will turn yellow and the, the tips of these little nibs will turn brown when it's uh, mature and ready to eat. This is our Rolinia tree. Also in this garden, we've got a juvenile mango right here. Here on the path up to Cozy Nook, right next to Lono Hale, we have our breadfruit tree, or Ulu. As you can see, this is an enormous, healthy ulu tree. It produces many, many, many ulu uh, during season, which is a very, very nice fruit. Um, it's a very, it can be eaten at uh, different stages of ripeness. Uh, when it's eaten unripe, it is just like a potato. It's a starchy, um, starchy fruit that uh, you can treat like a potato, make mashed 
ulu or baked, roasted, uh, or fried. And you can also let them ripen uh, where a lot of the starches will turn to sugars for a different, different flavor, different experience of this fruit. They have extremely unique leaves. So you can see all the, the fingers of this leaf. And the bottom side of this particular cultivar has a, a bit of a sandy quality to it. The Samoan type has the, a sandpaper feel all over. This one has a pretty slick top leaf, but the bottom is nice and rough. These produce great fruit. Ulu tree. In this old truck, growing straight out of it, is another star fruit tree. Star fruit growing out of this one. Next to it, we also have a juvenile sapodilla tree that is just starting to fruit. Sapodilla is another exotic fruit that is really delicious. This is uh, the Alano cultivar of sapodilla. Very nice fruit and very delicious. We also here on the border of the property see some more coconuts which we have scattered throughout. All of these are bananas. Banana trees here. As well as one of our citrus trees, which is producing very well right now. These lemons. This is a very unique cultivar that produces bumpy lemons, as you can see. Very delicious, great tree. Next to it, we see another egg fruit tree right next to the lodging. It's another egg fruit tree we have. And behind it, how Ulu Hideaway got its name, more Ulu trees. Again, with that unique leaf shape, easy to spot, along with a couple of quite immature fruit but here you can see some of the small, newly formed fruit of the uh, ulu, the breadfruit tree. We see another special tree here on the property. This is our Brazilian plum tree. Brazilian plum, or imbu, or umbu as it's uh, sometimes known, produces a nice fruit and has very characteristic leaves here. You can see on the underside, is brown. And the top is a waxy green. This is our Brazilian plum. Down from this we see another citrus tree right here. Here we are on the side of Kahuna Cabin and some more of our fruit trees here. This tree here is another egg fruit tree. This is an egg fruit. Nice big healthy tree. This is an amazing type of fruit. Very delicious, very unique. Most of our guests here have never heard of or tried one before. And they're very uh, interesting fruits. You can see this one is fruiting right now with a couple of these egg fruits here. These are still quite immature. They'll turn yellow and soft when they're ready. And uh, they're very sweet and have the texture of the a hard-boiled egg yolk. Very interesting tropical fruit, the egg fruit. And right next to our egg fruit tree, we have our Suriname cherry tree. This one right here. It has uh, nice small leaves, waxy small leaves, and the new growth is a vibrant red color, as you can see here, making this a very beautiful tree. Uh, when This is not fruiting at the moment, but when it is, the, it produces an abundance of small Suriname cherries, which are very delicious. Another very interesting tropical fruit tree we have here at Hidonesia, Hawaii.